Caesar, how Wait, are you? Excuse me. Yes, Larry. What, what are you doing? Well, you know, when we were filming the book Santa Bruce, and you guys were in front of the fireplace downstairs, I realized we never hung stockings for you guys this year. And then it occurred to me, I didn't even have stockings for you guys this year. So I thought I should make you guys some stockings. Um, thank you. Do you know what you use stockings for? Uh, you use stockings for feet, duh. Yeah. Well, technically, yes, but no. We hang stockings by the chimney so that we can put all kinds of goodies in it. See, when I was growing up, we would put our wooden shoes out by the chimney and wait for Sinterklaas, which was the, um, the Dutch form of Santa Claus. And if you had been a good little boy or girl all year, your, your wooden shoe in the morning would have chocolates and oranges and nuts and all kinds of toys and treats and all kinds of cool things. But you know what would happen if you had been a bad boy or girl all year? You know, you'd get in your wooden shoe. Coal. Yeah. I mean, that's not actually a bad gift if your house is cold because you can make it warm, but you know. You think Larry should get coal? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Larry. I'm sorry, Larry. There, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm sorry. So Don't I thought that we should, we, we have adopted that tradition with stockings now. And so Ooh. we can fill stockings with all kinds of fun things or, you know, for the, the family or Santa fills all the stockings. But if you don't have a stocking, then you're not going to get fun things to fill it, are you? So I thought we could just make one for you, Caesar. Because you've been a good bear, right? Wait, Caesar says you spelled it wrong. It's C-A. You know what? Miss Corey is really not on the ball today, is she? It's C-A. I obviously, -A. I seriously, obviously cannot talk and write at the same time. Well, you can fix it, right? Yeah, absolutely. I just did. Oh, good. You lost your head again, Caesar. Caesar. Ha. All right. Is that better, Caesar? We wouldn't want to get your name misspelled. C-A-E. That's right. See, I don't have autocorrect like I do on my computer. Silly Miss Glory. If if people had autocorrect, then the world would be uh, different. You think so? People would speak properly or somewhat properly. All right. So, you know, and that's an S, right? Not a Z? Yes, it's an S. Ooh, shiny. I know. It is very shiny. My glue's kind of sticking. And I thought we use glitter glue rather than regular glue because, you know, that's such a mess. And, and then it's another A and then R. Are you sure, Larry? Yes. Okay. Caesar approves. Caesar approves. Okay. What do you think about that? It looks perfect. Right, Caesar? And then there's mine. It so looks do good. you think that you will get lots of goodies in your stockings? Um, I hope so. You've been a very good bear this year. What about me? And you've been a very good skeleton this oh, year. Oh, yay. Because we could not have done all these crafts and all these stories without your guys' help. Yay! You've been awesome. I try. So you certainly do deserve to have these fun little stockings. So we're going to let these dry, and while these dry, maybe we ought to do the craft that we designed to go with this week's story. What do you think? It sounds like a great idea. All right. Well, we're going to... How about... Here, I'll take these? them. You want to take them? Okay. And maybe your assistant can hold on to that. Okay, good. So the craft that I thought we could do today, since you have a hat, this is a good thing to bring up. I thought we could make little hat ornaments. Because, you know, Santa Bruce wore a hat... That made him look like Santa Claus. Now the sample I did, we just used regular blue and white yarn. But the samples that are coming, here you go buddy. The samples that are coming at the Her Memorial Library craft are done with red and green yarn. And what we've provided for you in the bag is about nine feet of yarn in green and nine feet of yarn in red. And your hat just is not staying on your head. That's a lot of feet. Would this hat stick? Oh, careful. <laughs> careful there. Here, we'll move the book, too. Okay. So, the um, the the yarn, it has to be nine feet long because we need you guys to cut them into about um, nine inch long pieces. Ta-da, like that. And you're going to need about ten of them. Ooh. And then you're going to need um, a couple that are going to be just a little bit longer. So you can make the ornament loop. And then one that's a little bit shorter 
um, to make the pom-pom. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. In the ornament to make the hat, it also comes with a thin cardboard ring that we've cut out from a, can you guess? A uh, toilet paper roll. A toilet paper roll, that's right. So if you're doing this at home and you can't make it into the library to get the craft kit, you can just use an empty toilet paper roll, and we should all have plenty of that after COVID, and get your yarn, and you want to get all that pre-cut, and then cut this up, and it's really, really simple. You want to take your yarn and fold it in half like this, like a U. You got that, Larry? Caesar, you got that? Yeah, I got that. Okay. And then... Caesar's got it. Caesar's got it. And then you want to take your yarn, you want to put it to the center of the ring like so, and bring the tails, see the little tail ends here? You want to kind of make sure that they're even. Can you see that? And you want to pop it through the loop, just like that, and pull tight. Think Ooh. you can do that? That looks fun. Yeah, I think Larry might be able to do it because he's got more fingers than you do, Caesar. Ha! Sorry. Paw man. But we have a job for you. And then uh, you can do what we, we did in ours is we did two of one color and then two of the next and then two of one color and then two of the next. And you can do that too if you like. It's just the same thing. Make a loop, pull up and through, and then pull tight. And make sure that your strings are about the same length. And you want to get them laying next to each other nice and smooth. This is a really good craft for... Um, developing fine motor skills among young children like your preschoolers and also teaches them a little bit about tying. You can also do patterns because then you take the next color, do the same thing, make a little loop and then run it through and just like so all the way around the ring and you want to keep going. We'll do one more here in a minute just to demonstrate. Make a loop, make a little a U, then make a loop run it through and pull tight like so. And then when you've got it done all the way around, it will look like this. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny guy. Sorry, I couldn't resist, honey. So it looks like, this kind of looks like a, a mop or kind of a really bad haircut, right? So then you eat. A muzzle. I don't know. I, I got no idea. You have no idea? It kind of looks like my fake wig. Like a wig. Something you would... You want to wear it on your nose. Uh, uh, you are silly. Uh, okay. So what you want to do then, boys and girls, is you want to um, take it and with your, your um, first finger and your thumb, kind of want to put a little wrap around it like that and twist them a little bit. And then you want to push them through the ring. So they all pop out the other side. Did you see how I did that, Caesar? So they all kind of pop through like this. Pull them through and make sure they all come through at the same length. And now it kind of looks kind of like an inverted squid or something. Jellyfish. A jellyfish, yeah. It kind of looks Christmas like a jellyfish. jellyfish. A Christmas jellyfish. They're found in maybe Christmas land. North maybe in the North Pole with Santa Claus. Okay. And then... When you get them all there, then you kind of want to get your other string that we had pulled out. We want to find your shorter one. And, oh, I don't know what I did with it. Is this one it? This is it. And you want to, again, kind of twist the yarn. Make sure they're all pulled nice and tight and straight. And pull them down. And you want to twist them. And you might need help, boys and girls, from an adult or a parent with this one. Because you're going to want to... Tie this into a tight, very tight ball on the top. So you're going to want to make a little knot and just pull it tight like so. See? Like that. And then you want to double knot it so that it doesn't come loose. Pull it nice and tight and double knot it. And then you can take your scissors and you can trim it really short. So it blends in with the string on the top. And then you want to take a little bit of stuffing. If you don't have stuffing, you can use tissue paper or even toilet paper, napkin, Kleenex, whatever you have. Cotton balls. Cotton balls. And you want to stuff the inside of this to kind of give it that nice hat shape. 
See? See how that fills that out nicely? Very cool. Yeah, very cool. And you want to make sure, see here we actually have one that missed, and that's okay. We can just tuck it in like so and pull it up like that. Then you want to make sure that your pom-pom on top is all the same length. See how they're kind of different lengths a little bit? Well, we can trim that down here and make sure you've got sharp scissors so um, or scissors at least that can cut through fabric. So this might be something that maybe parents or caregivers want to do so little fingers don't get cut. Um, and you just want to make sure that we're not using my sewing scissors so these aren't cutting as nicely. These are my paper scissors. Um, but this will work too. So you just want to kind of cut to make sure that your pom-pom is even on the top. And voila, you have a hat ornament. And if you like, you can take one more long string. You're going to want to loop it just like what we did before, but this time come around your finger like so. Can you see how we did that? We kind of made a cross. So we made a cross. And then you want to tuck it under and pull it through that hole that you made. And if I can find it here, it's not getting lost. There it is. And you want to pull it so it forms a knot. See? And then you can tuck this into the yarn here. Kind of pull, it, pull out your stuffing so you can pull it through like so. And then put your stuffing back in. And then you can hang your ornament from the tree like so. And you can adjust the yarn to cover up the opening where you pushed it through. And then you can hang your ornament, like I said, from your Christmas tree. And you have a nice little knitted pom-pom beanie hat. Isn't that cute? So the other ornament we want to make in honor of Santa Bruce, of course, is Frosty the Snowman. No, 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 no. This one we're going to make is going to be a popsicle stick Santa Claus. Isn't he cute? This is really simple to make. You need to take your popsicle sticks. And again, if you come to the Herman Memorial Library, we have a kit with all the stuff in it prepared for you. But if you can't make it, these are the things you'll need to prepare from home. You'll need four regular popsicle sticks. So I hope you like popsicles. You're going to need a small square of cardboard. You can use a cereal box, a uh, granola bar box, any kind of thin kind of boxy cardboard. You're going to need a piece of white felt. You're going to need some ribbon, any color that you like. We just went with red because Santa's red. You're going to need some cotton balls, some glitter. You're going to need some googly eyes. You're going to need some paint. You're going to need red paint and a flesh colored paint of your choice. You're going to need a brown paint and a pink paint. And I recommend a paint tray or a bowl or something because we're also going to add water to some of our paints to water it down. You're also going to need either clear glue or Mod Podge um, so that we can put glitter on our ornament. And I also recommend a hot glue gun for gluing the felt on, but if you don't have a hot glue gun, no worries. Craft glue also works. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. So if you're in a hurry, use the hot glue gun. If you're not in a hurry, use regular craft glue. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. The first thing you want to do is take your regular glue. You don't need to use a craft glue or even a glue gun for this step. And you want to put glue all over your cardboard. Got it? And then you just lay your popsicle sticks on top. And you want to make sure that they line up nice and straight because otherwise Santa's going to be a little crooked. And then let it dry. Tough, tough step, isn't it? Once it has dried, you can trim the edge of your cardboard so that it fits perfectly to your Santa Claus. Thank you. And then you want to take your paint and your paintbrush. I recommended a wide bristle brush for this, but if all you have are the little paint brushes that come in the watercolor kits, those will work too. And you just want to paint the top one third of the sticks red. And you want to paint the bottom two thirds of the stick your flesh colored paint, whichever ones you choose. You won't need a lot of paint at all, um, but if you really want to make it thick, go for it. 
So here we have one that we've already finished and we've allowed it to dry. It does take about 10 or 15 minutes to dry. So um, keep that in mind. You can also use a blow dryer to accelerate the process if you like. Once you've got it dry, we're gonna add some depth to the painting. Now that sounds kind of scary, but it just makes him pop out a little bit more. And what I mean by that is you're gonna take your dark brown paint, and this is where you're gonna need a paint tray, and you wanna put just like a drop or two of brown paint in here, and then put a little bit of water in there and mix it all together really, 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 really good. And then you're just going to lightly brush the sides and the top and the sides of your ornament so that it looks like this. And then you're going to take your pink paint, where my pink paint go? And I couldn't find a paint that pink paint that was dark enough. So I actually mixed a little bit of my red paint and a little bit of my pink paint um, and then just a couple drops of water to thin it out. Mix that all in here. And then we just put a splotch right here in the middle for Santa's red nose. Because it's red because it's cold outside, yes? Okay, so this is what it looks like when you put the brown paint on and the pink nose. If you don't want to put the brown paint on, you can skip that step. It doesn't really matter. I just like the way that it looked when it was all done. Is there a problem? Oh, I have a fuzzy on me. Thank you, Caesar. Okay, so when this step is done and it's really dried, then the next step you get to do is take your glitter. Now, I really like the fact that you guys are doing these crafts at home because we haven't had glitter all over the library in months. It's been great. So we sit at home with you guys. Wasn't that nice of me? <laughs> I know. So you're going to need some glitter. Again, you can skip this step if you want. I just like the way that it makes Santa pop. So we poured a little bit of glitter into our tray. We added a little bit of Mod Podge to it. We mixed it all together and we painted the entire length of our Santas. And this is what it looks like when it's all dry. So you can kind of see the progression here, uh, the painted sticks to the enhanced sticks to the sparkly shiny sticks. And it's okay, seriously, that some of the red paint here um, kind of get add in and tinge the, the Mod Podge because one, each ornament is unique and two, it really makes Santa look cold. So it's okay if that happens. I must have had a little bit of paint still left on my brush when I painted it on. So when this is good and dry, now it is time to um, add all what we call the embellishments to our Santa Claus. And at this point, this is kind of kind of where you're gonna either wanna use your craft glue or your hot glue gun. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do then is to take your white felt, and this is gonna be the brim of Santa's hat. See? And you're just going to take your hot glue and just run a bead of glue right across that line between uh, the red paint and the flush colored paint. And that line, as you'll notice, doesn't have to be perfectly straight because you're going to cover it up with the felt brim of Santa's hat. And you can adjust that as you wish to make it as high or as low as you like. And then you're just going to flip this over and you're gonna put a little bit of glue on the back here so that you can continue to wrap the felt all the way around. And my felt here is a little bit long actually, so we're gonna trim that. And just glue that on the back like so. Again, if you're using craft glue, it'll take a little bit longer for this to dry, but that's okay too. Then the next step we're going to do is gonna be with our red ribbon. Um, in the craft bags, we sent home about 12 inches of red ribbon. Um, you want to divide that up. You want to have a longer stretch of that for the loop that's going to go on the back of the ornament like that. And again, just like with the yarn beanie hats, we're going to make a loop here to tie it through just like this. Why is it always easier to do this when I'm not being filmed, Caesar? It's really kind of funny. Okay, so again, we've kind of made a loop there and brought it all down. We do this to make it nice and secure so that it doesn't unglue and pop off. And on the back of your ornament here, you want to put just a little bit of glue. And then we're going to press this onto it to secure. Just like that. Want to blow on it? Good job. There, you want to blow on it too? <laughs> <laughs> puffing and puffing. He sounds like the big bad wolf. 
Okay, now we can add Santa's um, embellishment. Now we went ahead and made another little bow, just like what we did for our little blue truck. Do you remember how we did that one? Remember that, Larry? Yeah. We made the bow that went on the uh, wreath on the front of the little blue car. Yeah, in case you forgot or didn't see that video, you want to make just a bow. You don't want to tie it in knot first. You want to just make just the loops and you want to wrap it around and pull it through. And this is easier to do when I'm not being filmed. And pull it tight like so, so that you get a little bow. And then you can just keep pulling the bottoms out to adjust it until you have a nice size little bow, just like that. And then you can trim the edges with your scissors, make sure they're sharp, and there you have a nice little bow. But if you've got a little piece of holly at home, or maybe if you've got some green yarn and you wanna mix it up with a little bit of that to put a little bit of green on here, like a little wreath with a little bit of holly on it, by all means, use your imagination. You can even go to craft supply stores and get little buttons of holly. That would be kind of cute to do too. We're working on a low budget production here though, so we just went with what we had. So what you're gonna do then is just in the corner of the white brim of the hat, put a little bit of glue and pop down your ribbon or whatever embellishment you choose to put on your Santa Claus. Now we're gonna give Santa some eyeballs. So again, we're gonna put a couple dots here. Yeah, Cesar, you think eyeballs are good? Do you think we ought to give him glasses? How think? about contacts? Contacts. You know what? With all these face masks, I wish I wore contacts. Because every time I go outside this time of year, my glasses fog over. Poor Santa. So now he's got eyes. Do you like his eyes? They're not angry eyes, are they? Angry eyes. Nope, they're not angry eyes. Last but not least, we have to add Santa's beard. We use cotton balls for this craft. If you've got some fake fur at home, you can use that too. That will look really cool. Um, I don't recommend so much using felt or tissue paper um, because it doesn't um, hold its shape as well. We're not going to use your fur, Caesar. Don't worry. Because Santa's beard isn't black. Now, if you were a polar bear, maybe. I'm just kidding. We wouldn't do that to a polar bear, would we, Larry? Uh, no. No. No, of course not. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your cotton ball and you kind of want to stretch it out a little bit. I think we gave you two or three cotton balls in the kit just in case the first one you use falls apart or gets dirty or doesn't separate like you like. So you can separate them any way you like. I find pulling them out from the center as you go is a little bit more effective. And we also recommend that you try to get his beard to go... Um, nice and full because it's got to come down here and you're going to want to try to pull it up a little bit on his sides like so and kind of shape it a little bit um, so that it looks like he's a, a jolly old Saint Nick. So you're going to want to play with that for a little bit and your kids can have a lot of fun messing with that. If you want to tear it into really really fine wispies like this you can do that too and then just lay the wispies on him However you want to do it, there really is no wrong way to make your Santa. You know, maybe your Santa has a really wispy beard like this. That's kind of a, a clever idea too. You like that? So however you want to do it, if you do it this way, I would recommend the craft glue and not the hot glue gun because these are really thin and you'll burn yourself through those fibers. So then use the craft glue and let it dry for a long time. If you're just going to stretch the cotton ball out, then go ahead and just use the hot glue gun like what we've done here and put a little bit of glue on, and then you can just glue your cotton ball beard on like that. What do you think of that, Caesar? What do you think of that, Larry? It looks very good. Is that a good? Would you agree, Caesar? Santa Claus? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Caesar! You too, Larry. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks. <laughs> So that would be that one. So you have our, our beanie hat um, Christmas ornaments this week and our Santa Claus ornaments this week. And I hope you've really had fun this month creating all these crafts with us as we've had fun making them for you. Come on and stop in at the library if you can. We've got some fun STEM activities that are still available. We have a few more of our um, chalk drawing holiday lights craft STEM activities you can make. And this week we have flying reindeer. Doesn't that sound kind of cool? 
You want to come see the reindeer fly? Well, come on to the library and help Caesar learn how to make reindeer fly. We hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. It's been a great time with you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye!